so welcome guys to next episode of our react tutorial so if you are now if you are not following my videos so this is my fourth or fifth video coming coming with with all the series so still now we have seen like how do we set uh, how do we create the project how do we create the component how do we use the status what are the various events we have and the last episode was related to forms like how do we handle the form right so simple employee form we had created and same form we have uh, shown in the table also now next thing is props props is nothing but properties right so how do we use properties in kind in react that we are going to discuss and many uh, some scenarios also we are going to see so first thing props comes when inside one component we are rendering another component means the basic example is like app.js so in app.js is our parent component so in that we are rendering another component just like in the body also we are rendering one or two component whichever we have to render right so just like this what i'm going to do now so from body component right so body component is my parent component and inside that i'm loading employee form so from body component i need to send some value to my employee form component and that value i will be displaying somewhere right so so let's say this is an select uh, this is the selector of my employee form component so here i want to send some value so how do we send the value from parent component to this child component is by simply providing the value let's say page title this is my variable equal to double quotes and i'm passing the value let's say welcome to props session right so in this variable that is page title i'm sending some string value now i need to go to the employee form component so this was body component this was a parent component and from parent component to child component i'm sending some value in the property that is page title right now in employee employee form component so let me just zoom a little bit now from parent component we have sent the value so that we need to receive in the child component so for that in the employee form component in the round bracket we need to write props right so let's say i need to display whatever the value i am going to get in this page title let's say above the container let's create h3 tag and inside that i will try to access the value props dot whatever the type property i have been sending that is page title so i will get all the properties in form of object so props dot page title i can print so let's save and check it's not compiled let me check yeah so it's compiled so you can see in the employee form component i'm going i'm able to see whatever the text i have sent from the parent component that is body component so this is a very simple example like how do we use the props props are nothing but properties so i told you like in the employee form for this employee component i'm sending some properties that is first is page title now let's try second property page subtitle is equal to let's say detail examples right which is i'm doing spelling mistake detail examples so for this employee component now i'm sending two properties first is a page title and second is a page subtitle now page title we have displayed now i need to show page subtitle so as i told you like we can display that by using uh, consider props is nothing but an object so whatever the property we send from the parent component that we can access by using dot operator so now in second paragraph i will try to access props dot my exact property name that is page subtitle let me copy and paste it over here so you can see detail example also visible in my employee form so this is how prop work so this is very basic example now consider you need to create an reusable component that you are going to use over multiple component. Let's say a simple example of ULNLI. Right? 
let's say you need to create an UL and ally component where you will just pass the collection of whatever the array you have and that will be get that will get display into your ally right so let's create a component first we will be UL ally scenario right so let's create a component let me just close all this just like topics folder I will create a folder reusable Okay, in reusable component, uh, reusable folder, I will create a first component that will be my UL, my UL ally, just the name I'm giving, or let's keep it as a simple, my UL, okay, sorry, dot .js missing, dot .js, now, Let's create a functional component that is with RSC. So you can say my UL component is created now. So wherever I'm going to use this component is this component will be responsible to display the whatever the array I'm going to send in the proper format. Okay. So it will be string array only not the dynamic. It will be a string array. Not means not the array of object just a string or integer array we will be displaying. So consider you are going to get props over here. And inside that props over, we need to use map. So uh, before use first, we need to write UL. And inside UL, ally is going to be multiple. So that's why we have to iterate. Now we are going to iterate over props dot. Let's assume in the props, we are going to get the property as list. List dot map. Item. Return and return. We have to write li and we will print item. So now, if you see, this is my reusable UL li component. So, wherever I am going to use this component, I just have to send the array now uh, to this property uh, with the property list, right? So, now this component I am going to call into my employee form component. So, before this paragraph. I will class my UL. So you can see suggestion is there. I'm just clicking on it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, what was the property name? List. So list. This will be my. Now let us let me just create an array. Let's see if we have the array. No. So I will just create an simply array. Let's say state list is equal to square bracket. MAH PUN Punjab Goa. Let's say we have an array where three elements are there Maharashtra, Pune, Maharashtra, Punjab, and Goa. Right? Let me write it complete. And Goa. Right? So I have an array. In that, I have three elements, Maharashtra, Punjab, and Goa. Let's say I have a requirement that I need to display the state list in the ULLI. So in my application, I have a component which is reusable and I can send array data to that and that component will display the data into ULLI form, right? So component I have loaded. Now I just need to send property that is list over here. Now to this list property, I'm going to send an object. So we have to, if we have to directly send the value we can directly uh, provide the string or the integer value in the double course, right? But now we are going to send the variable. So that why we have to enclose that with the curly braces, right? So now if I save that, let's see, you can see ULLI is there plotted over here, right? So we have created an reusable component to which if we send the array, it will display the uh, that array into ULLI, right? So let's try the same again. Below that, let's add a BR tag. And let's try to create another array that will be city list. Right, so city list, let me pass Pune, Mumbai, Panji. 
right so now i have now i have another variable city list again i need to display the city list into ulli so i just i can just use my component and send the property to that so let's save and check now we should have two ul and li see first ul was responsible to show the list of state and second li for to display the city list right so we have successfully created an reusable component which is uh, which object which objective is to display the list of items into ulli now consider the same example we can create reusable table also okay that will be little bit hard but let's just try that so that you will have two scenarios ready where we we are going to use the ultimate use of properties right so now next objective is we are going to create reusable component in react.js so let me just close this so now in reusable i will one more uh, i will create one more component that is my table dot js let's create a component that is rsc enter now consider you need to create a reusable table so what things you are going to provide right let's see in table what we have headers means columns and data what kind of data we are going to show right just two things are things two things are going to be there let first design a normal table then we can see what things we are going to need table then we normally have t head and inside that tr and inside that th will be there and let's say we have name some th some things will be there right let's say city email and contact number right this is my t head this will be constant then we have t body just the static content i am designing for now then we will make it dynamic and inside that you will have multiple tds right just like this you will have our table structure now imagine if you have to make this dynamic so what things you are going to need first this one be repeated and this one also be repeated we have to iterate over th and we have to iterate over td also now let's try let's say if we have props over here now what things two things we are going to get first is like array of object we will be getting two properties we will be getting first is for headers let's say column array right and this will be array of object with field let's say header and field okay then second property which we will get is like data array this will be actual data okay so let's let's assume if we have a property like column array so now we have to iterate th also so props dot table or uh, column array dot map assuming column array is going to be array of objects so item now here now this th will go inside over here after return now instead of directly this static thing i will use item dot now consider like uh, we are going to get array of object into, into this column array and the field will be header and the field so in the th we are going to show the header right so just first thing we are going to do now we have created an uh, reusable table component where where we have to send one property that is column array and that will be a array of object now in employee table instead of this static table let me just comment it i will use my reusable table my table right now so first thing is like we need to create an array of object field will be header and the field so in my parent component that is employee form here i will create an array const table columns is equal to square bracket object so field will be header colon data let's say name and field like inside this particular column what type of data we are going to display from the array so that will be name 
whatever the field we have name mobile and email and address so just like that we will create let's close this right so name mobile email address mobile email address right now we just need to provide the field name is the first field then uh, a mobile email what is the actual field name from that array of object right now this column array we will send it over here let me just minimize this now for this particular my table component one property is there that property is column array so here we have to send data to this column array now we are going to send object right we don't need bracket right now this table column array we are going to send as a parameter over here let's try to save it now wish okay error is there let me see what is the error wait let's just close this still there is error where it is showing module field in employee form okay closing tag was not properly closed so it will be here now let's see if it works yeah okay so here at the bottom, you can see name, mobile number, email address. This is plotted. But since uh, in our reusable table, we don't have that table class. So let's just add that. Then that table will look proper. Last name, table, table, bordered. Let's see and check it again. Now you can see columns are properly plotted. Now next thing is we need to make T body also dynamic. So consider this is was this was t head then we need t body let's close it then inside that tr will be there right now tr will be dynamic right like what number of records we have to show in the table so it should be dynamic so consider in props we have got what things what property we have discussed data array data is data array is the property we are going to get so data array dot map round bracket round bracket item equal to curly bracket returns and here it will be tr right so tr is going to be multiple right inside that let's just add a td for now and here i will be printing one now uh, we haven't done complete you know we have just iterate over tr whatever the data we have got now so just like we have sent column data now we have to send the data array so for this table second property will be data array equal to curly bracket the data i have in this employee array so let's save and let's save now save all okay so currently in my table uh, array i don't have the data so let's fit fill some data Let's some enter dummy data. Let's click on save employee. So you can see I have got TD over here. TR is there because only one record is there. Now I will change Rahul save employee. So you can see two TRs have been successfully plotted. Now I just need to display the particular data into particular column. Now for that first thing is done. Like what number of data I have got that much TR I have plotted. But now TD also should be dynamic because what number of columns I have plotted above, that number of TD should be here. Na? Currently, I just have added one TD. So that's why you are able to see one TD over here. But what number of columns I have, that number of TD should be there. But how do I know the columns? So because of this, here we know what number of columns are there. So I can use same this. Let's instead of this, what I need to do, I need to use props dot column array. Because inside column array, we know like how many columns are there. So again, map property, round bracket, round bracket, item. 
sorry this will be now header equal to because item is already there in the data array right so we need we need a separate property okay inside tr curly braces is missing so this will go inside over here let me just format right so now inside tr again we have interpolation and inside that we are using map operator and inside this we will have td okay before return statement then we will have td over here right so now td tr is going to be multiple according to the data array now td is also going to be multiple according to the column array now here we need to display the particular data so item is nothing but object from object, we need to display particular field value, right? So that we can access using square bracket and the header. Now header is an object, array of object we have, right? So as we have discussed in this, field is the property, okay, F-I-E-L-D, field. Spelling mistake was there, let me just correct it. So now in the field, we get to know like from our particular object, which property we need to access. So this will go over here, header dot field. So let me save and check. So you can see below that particular column, we are going to get to see the particular data. So with this simple easy steps, we have created reusable table in ReactJS using simple props only. Got it? So hope this video was helpful to you. And props is almost a very easy concept in React. So you might have got it. First thing we have did is like in employee component, we have tried to access the uh, page title and page subtitle property, which we have sent from the body component because employee form component is loaded into body component. So this was a string data we have sent and that we have accessed in the employee component, right? Props we have added over here and props dot particular page title. In props, we get the object, right? So that's why we can access this using dot. Then we have created ULLI component. So you can see this was the component which you have created. UL was static inside that LI was dynamic, right? So we were iterating on the list. Now in the employee form component, we had created array. You can see string array we have created and that we have passed over to the list property. First state and then city. So likewise, you can say state was there and the city list was there. Just like that, UL and LI, we have created reusable table also. So this was a component for reusable table. So inside reusable table, T head, TR was there and TH was dynamic, right? So what number of columns we have? So that was dynamic. Then in T body, TR should be dynamic. So that's why first TR was in the data array map property. Then inside TR, TD will also be dynamic because what number of columns we have displayed in the header, that number of TD should be displayed. So that's why TD is also dynamic. And now in TD, we are trying to access item. Item will have an object. From that item, we are trying to display the particular field value. So that header dot field, right? So this is how we have completed our reusable table component in ReactJS. So that's it with this current video. In next video, again, I will cover one more topic. Please then, till then, please do subscribe and like my videos.